Hi, fourth grade. Today we're going to be learning how to multiply money. So in the past, my students have been intimidated by the fact that we're using money rather than whole numbers. But keep in mind that you multiply money the same way you multiply whole numbers. You simply just add the dollar sign and the decimal to the product at the end. So since you are all experts at doing multiplication with whole numbers, this should be a breeze for you today. Let's look at an example problem. Here we're looking at the problem $3.39 times 8. The first step to this problem is the same as the first step would be if we were multiplying 339 times 8. You start in the ones place. So in this case, the ones place is represented by pennies. The tens place is represented by dimes. And the dollar, excuse me, the hundreds place is represented by dollars. So think about one dollar is equal to 100 pennies. So it's still the hundreds place, okay? So we're gonna start right here with eight times nine. So eight times nine pennies is eight groups of pennies. Here we see eight groups of nine pennies. Eight times nine is 72, so we have 72 pennies. Well, in our ones place, we cannot write the number 72. There's only place for one digit. So we're going to have to regroup. When we regroup, we trade our 72 pennies for seven dimes and two pennies. So now that we have two, we can put it in the ones place. And we're gonna carry these seven dimes over to the dimes place. So we're gonna put a seven right here. All right, now we're gonna multiply eight times three dimes. Here we see our eight groups of three dimes. So eight times three is equal to 24. So we have 24 dimes right here. But we see that we have a seven, so we can't forget to add our extra seven dimes. Now we have, so 24 plus seven is 31. So we have 31 dimes here. Well, in our tens place, we can't write 31. So we're going to put our one in the tens place, and we're gonna carry our three over to the dollar place, because 30 dimes is really equal to three dollars. So here you can see we traded our 31 dimes for $3 and one dime. So we put our one here in the dimes place and we carry our $3. Well now we need to multiply eight times $3. Eight times three is 24, so here we have $3 eight times. This gives us $24, but we can't forget to add that extra $3 at the end. So we're gonna add three extra dollars, which is, gives us $27. So we're gonna go ahead and write 27 And the one thing we can't forget to do is to add our decimal place. So you can either bring this down, or starting on the right, you go over two places, and that's where your decimal belongs. And then you add your dollar sign at the end, and our product is $27.12. I know that was a lot to take in with all the regrouping, so let's go through the problem again quickly and pretend that the dollar sign and the decimal aren't actually there. And we'll treat this like a normal mul multiplication problem. So eight times nine is 72. So we put our two in the ones place and we carry our seven tens over to the tens place. Eight times three tens is 24 tens, plus seven is 31 tens or 310. So we put our 10 here and we carry our three hundreds over to the hundreds place. Eight times three is 24, plus three is 27. So 27 hundreds is 2,700. So we put our 27 hundreds right here. And then we're gonna remember that we're dealing with money. So starting on the right side, we go over two places for our decimal point and add our dollar sign. So remember in the cents, so to the right of the decimal is always where the cents are. And there can never be more than two digits because we just have the place for the dimes and the place for the pennies. Um, so our product is the same, it's $27.12. So if it's easier for you to think about this as, an, as multiplying whole numbers and adding those at the end, um, that's a great strategy to use as well. All right, fourth grade, now you know how to multiply money.